That allows us to all the terminals to depart from the lower level. You can't smoke in the terminal. So arrest me. Special Agent McFadden, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms, and this is... Special Agent Borland, FBI. Well, I'm afraid that Inspector Thatcher is out of town. I'm Constable Fraser, Deputy Liaison Officer. <coughs> and this is Constable Turnbull, our temporary assistant interim associate Deputy Liaison Officer. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't notice you. Yeah. And this is a Diefenbaker. Uh, your office. Yes, please. Would you like me to hold your calls? Yes, I'd appreciate that. And what reason should I give? I'm sorry? The Americans. Should I say you're in a meeting? Yes, th that would be good. So it's not a secret meeting? I'm sorry? High level, interagency, off the record. Not that I'm aware of, no. Ah, good. Of course, if it was, you shouldn't even tell me. So perhaps it is secret and you just can't say. If that's the case, I understand. It's not the case. Ah, I understand. Canadian Consulate, Liaison Office. I'm sorry, but I can't tell you that. He may have ordered lunch from your establishment, or he may not have. Who's in there? Where? He was my father's best friend on the force. They went to the academy together. I've known him all my life. You had any contact with him since his incarceration? No. I imagine not. I mean, a man killed your father. You're not just going to pick up the phone and kick around old times. How can I be of assistance to you? You seem very cool about this. Gerard is serving a life sentence. Whatever my feelings, they ended with his imprisonment. Two months ago, Gerard reached out to one of your Crown attorneys. Let it be known that he'd be willing to talk about his involvement in other criminal activities in exchange for making his life easier. Apparently, he had an arrangement with an American arms dealer named Lloyd Nash. It's a name that interested us. Last week, Gerard was in transit to testify here in front of a grand jury. Two U.S. Marshals picked him up in Toronto and flew him to O'Hare, where he disappeared. He had help. And we've been looking for him for seven days. We can't even find his shadow. As you said, you've known him all your life. We figured you might be able to help. 
Well, I would still have to clear it through the consulate. Grand jury convenes on Wednesday. We have one day to find Gerard, or Nash will never see the inside of a prison gate. That's our problem. Your problem is the man who killed your father is out there, enjoying life. Clear it all you want. Anything you could think of. Uh, contacts you might have here, family members or friends we don't know about. We'd appreciate it. going to trial a week from Wednesday on the Turner Brothers case. I have turned it over to Assistant State's Attorney Hilliard. Stress-related vacation, Louise. I have assured Hilliard that you will have a complete and thorough recollection of the details of the case so as not to embarrass him on the stand, because if you embarrass him, you embarrass me. And you don't want to embarrass me. Read it. Busy? Nope. Nash, Lloyd. How do you get any respect as a criminal with a name like Lloyd? Is that a serious question? Uh, no, Frazier. Is this the guy Gerard's supposed to testify against? Apparently. Uh, here it is. Lloyd P. Nash. <laughs> you want to know what the P stands for? Is it pertinent? Not even close. Well, I can see why the state's attorney wants him so bad. Indictment 7, conviction 0. Yeah, it seems all key witnesses have a funny way of disappearing just before each trial. Where can we find him? Come on. <sighs> Frazier, if you're going to...